In this trick, matches are arranged as symmetrically as possible. Burning the matches fuses their ends and this becomes the pivot where the match rotates. Change in tension and temperature across the third match causes it to stretch and appear to rotate along the pivot. The teabag rocket will show that when you actually light the teabag on fire from the top, it will take off into the air. That happens because as the teabag is burning, all the air inside heats up so it expands. It gets less dense, being pushed up by the cooler air around it. Hot air being less dense rises, while cool air being denser sinks. It's like buoyant force. Furthermore, when the tea bag burns right at the bottom, it turns into ashes. It becomes so light that it gets being swept up in the convection current. In this trick, we would use two balls of different masses. First, both would be bounced or released from the same height. And the ball with lower mass would be placed on top of the bigger ball. The smaller ball bounces higher once it is placed on top of the bigger ball. This is due to the law of conservation of momentum. The momentum of the object will be the same at both final initial points. The same is also true for kinetic energies. In this case, the smaller ball will receive the same amount of kinetic energy the larger ball after collision, therefore increasing its velocity. Balloons are made out of long intertwined strands of polymer molecules, thus making it stretchable. When the balloon is blown up, these strands of polymer will stretch more on the middle, so the skewer can only be pushed through the area of the tight end and the other end. Because it receives the least stress preventing the strands to break, rather the polymer strands will wrap around the skewer. 